Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your small motorhome specialists. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. My brother Levi or I would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 1999 Coachman Starflight with 66,182 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 1999 Coachman Starflight. As usual, I'm going to start in the front. Work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. It's been a while since we've had a Coachman Starflight. We've got two of them coming up here right in a row. So without any further ado, we'll get going on this Coachman Starflight. Got about 73 inches of headroom in the main part of the coach. Got a fantastic fan here that can act like an attic fan at night that runs on the coach battery. So if you open up these windows, turn that on, it'll bring the cool outside air in. These are ducts for the air conditioner. So the air conditioner itself is there in the rear and it'll blow the cool air out through here. Easily accessible entryway. There's a little storage box here below this step. You can drop this across to fill in this gap. storage cubbies, noxious gas detector, got a 110 outlet up here, got a DVD player here, this head unit controls the black colored speakers there and there in the unit, so whatever you have playing through here will play through those speakers, if you got a DVD playing or watching TV, that will just come through these speakers on the TV itself. Got a crank for the TV antenna. Got a screen door, you can pull the screen door across. Got a little magnet catch there for it. Got a switch for your overhead lights and your porch light. Coach battery disconnect. That essentially disconnects the coach battery from everything in here. Prevents parasitic draw. That also disconnects the charging systems, which are the alternator while you drive, the shore power plug-in, or the generator. Got your propane furnace down here. One ten power, water heater on off that lights itself. That's your water heater there. Some of your water lines. So this uh, stove top here pulls out a two burner LP cooktop. That little pin there that you can slide in there to hold that properly while it's slid out. Got a window that opens with a screen portion here. Single basin sink. Our lights act a little funny up there. I'm gonna have the guys take a look at that. It might need new bulbs. Got your range hood and fan. Got your levels test here for your water tanks, your LP gas, and your coach battery. Hood fan on off, hood light, water pump on off. Push and hold that button there for the levels test. Got a standard microwave. This runs on AC power, so your generator or your shore power plug-in. A marking there on the veneer. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. So you got your freezer portion up top. The rest of it's a refrigerator. So this is a three-way meaning AC power. So your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC power meaning the coach battery or propane gas. A spot down below here too. Got a little bit of discoloration on the carpet here. This curtain here is hiding your awning center after an awning crank, as well as the thermostat that controls the air conditioner and the furnace. I'm gonna flip you around now. Got window with a screen portion here and a screen portion here. 
This is a fire exit type window, so that can't open, but if you push that far enough, it's gonna fall out and go on the ground and break. Could, pro could possibly make a little prop rod for that if that was something you really wanted to have open. However, it does not have a screen. Got a start stop for the owning gas generator. This is a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified owning techs. We got 233 hours on that. We've got shades, so day night style shades on these windows throughout. We've got three lap belts here on this sofa, so this top will flip over and come here to be able to make up that bed. I'm gonna drop some pictures here in just a little bit, show you what that looks like, get you some measurements. 110 power, got your fuse panel here, got a 12 volt power source here, so that can be plugged in there and charged directly from the coach battery. So if you got uh, something to charge your phone or things like that, noxious gas detector, got a little bump on the veneer there. does go back quite a ways so you can actually really use this space got another belt here on the dinette so a total of six belts in this unit this uh, leg here is going to come up this will drop down to fill in the blank here slide these cushions out I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what these beds look like made up and get some measurements the sofa bed measures approximately 45 inches wide and ranges from 68 to 74 inches long with the longer part including the extra cushion directly behind the driver's seat. The table drops down to make up the dinette bed and it measures approximately 30 and a half inches wide and 74 and a half inches long. Here we are standing at the rear of the RV. What crime do blacksmiths most often get charged with? Forgery. Got a curtain here that pulls across this track to create privacy. Flip you around now. We've got access here for storage area and some of your water lines. Got a cup holder and an ashtray that is unused. Got a scratch here on the veneer. Going all the way up, as well as 110 power. Got a wet bath style, not too much of a step up and in. So essentially you're gonna do all your business in this room here. Everything's gonna drain there into the floor. So nice bathroom for an RV this size. Got an exhaust fan and a light up top. Got this track here, you can pull the curtain around to help hold the water in. Got a curtain you can pull around the front for privacy while you're parked. So the way this works here, it's a little bit of a different system. Our guys made this prop rod here. So we can just take this little prop rod and stick that in here and that's gonna hold the TV up. Got a very big storage area up here. That's an outlet the TV's plugged into. Also got a 12 volt power source there on the left, a little bit hard to see. Nice big storage area. Got some of your manuals there in the book. All in all, a nice coach. It's gone through our full inspection process. These Coachman Star Flights are quite rare. It's not something you're gonna see every day. I'm going to call this one an eight and a half to a nine. It is a 1999, so some of the cosmetic blemishes can somewhat be attributed to age. Nothing that's going to affect the fun or usability of this RV. Again, I'm going to call it an eight and a half to a nine. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, tilt, cruise, a little glove box there. The cigarette lighter is unused. The ashtray is unused. Seats are in good condition. Not noticing any smells, burns, stains, things like that. So I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. 
maybe got the tiniest little discoloration spot right there but all in all very very clean Alrighty, folks we're gonna go around the outside of this 1999 coachman star flight this rv measures 21 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning it has six brand new tires this rv is built on a ford e350 chassis with a 6.8 liter v10 engine with 66,182 miles all in all got a nice looking exterior on this one for a 1999 Still got quite a bit of shine left. Decals are in pretty good condition. There's a few minor blemishes here and there. That's stuff you'd expect on a 99. Got your furnace exhaust here. Two 110 outlets so you can plug things in beneath the awning. These two speakers are wired to the head unit up inside here to the right of the entry door. There are zones on that head unit so you can control whether you want the music to play inside and outside or just one or the other. Got the back of your water heater, back of your refrigerator. This is a propane hose here, so that goes to the propane tank on the opposite side. You can plug your grill in here and use it on this side of the RV. We do have a new cover coming for this that has not arrived yet, so once that comes, we'll put a new cover on that. Got a bay here with some access to your water lines. Got the gray and black poles there to open the gates for those. I want to do the black first, then the gray. <clears throat> Around to the back of the unit. Got a storage spot here in this box on the back of the RV. We've got a sewer hose storage down below. We've got a tow package, outside shower that's convenient for kids, pets, going to the beach, things like that. We've got some scratches here on that trim piece. Nice big storage bay here with a light. You can access this from the inside of the coach through this door. That's the one along the floor in the very back of the unit. Got one more gate here at the dump there for the sewer. Got your propane tank. Fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Got your city water going in. Cable TV, the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. That's designed as another sewer hose storage. Doesn't often get used because it's hard to put in there. storage below the couch bed here at your own 2800 generator your coach battery shore power coming in there the cord comes with the unit so all in all a hard to find coachman star flight in very nice condition ready to hit the highway today mm -hmm.